Shalom, shalom to all my fellow brothers and sisters out there. It's me again, Damian Powell from YeshuaSavesAll.com. Peace be to you in the name of our Father, Yahweh, and our Master, the Son of Yahweh, Yeshua HaMashiach. So today, my brothers and sisters, Akeem and Akayot, all over the world, I want to do this message to encourage you all to keep going to keep being sold out to Amadim, disciples of Yeshua, and walk this narrow path because the path is narrow. But there is a great reward for those who will endure until the end. Okay, that's why I want to encourage you. Keep going. Don't give up. All right, Deuteronomy 5.29. In the complete Jewish scriptures, Yahweh says, Therefore, you are to be careful to do as Yahweh your Elohim has ordered you. You are not to deviate either to the right or the left. You are to follow the entire way which Yahweh your Elohim has ordered you so that you will live. Things will go well with you and you will live long in the land you are about to possess. Hallelujah. So Yahweh says you are to follow the entire way. We see the same thing in the temple scroll, him saying that in order for us to regather us from the four corners. Temple scroll, the complete Dead Sea Scrolls, column 59, page 215. Afterwards, they will return to me. This is what we all should be doing. We should be returning to him. Afterwards, they will return to me with all of the heart, with all of the soul, in conformity with all the words of this law. All the words of this law, same thing we saw in Deuteronomy 5, 29. You are to follow the entire way, okay? So he says, in conformity with all the words of this law, and I will save them from the hand of their enemies and redeem them from the hand of those who hate them and increase them and exult over them. I will be their Elohim and they shall be my people. And again, Revelation 14, 12, one that I always quote, one that I always talk about. HebrewGospels.com, Revelation 14, 12. Here is the hope of the set apart ones. And here are those who do the commandments of Yahweh and believe in Yeshua. So we obey the written Torah and have faith, belief in the living Torah, which is Yeshua, the one and the same. As we know, Yahweh does not lie, and there are many, many rewards awaiting the righteous, okay? And one of them I want to discuss is those who endure to the end will shine brightly. So let's look at what Yeshua told us in Matthew chapter 13, verse 43, HebrewGospels.com. The son of Eloah will send his messengers, his malachim, his angels, all the stumbling blocks in his kingdom and the evil ones he will place in the fire of Gehenna. And there will be weeping and trembling of teeth. Then the righteous ones will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. The righteous ones will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Now, his disciples saw a glimpse of what this will look like when they saw the esteem of Yeshua when his face shone like the sun. Let's go to Matthew chapter uh, 16, verse 28. Matthew chapter 16, verse 28, HebrewGospels.com. Truth, I say to you, that some of these who are here will not die until they have seen the son of Eloah coming in his kingdom right so yeshua's statement about him being seen coming in his kingdom leads right up to the following verses in the next chapter and what do we see happening matthew chapter 17 verse 1 through 2 matthew chapter 17 verse 1 through 2 hebrewgospels.com and after five days he took kepha which is peter yaakov James and Yochanan, John, his brother, and after he brought them up unto one exceeding high mountain, the figure, his figure, was changed before them, 
and the form of his face shone like the sun and his garment was like snow. Now, the beautiful thing is we will be made like him, as John tells us in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1 through 2. See what love the Father has lavished on us and letting us be called Elohim's children. For that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it has not known him. Dear friends, we are Elohim's children now, and it has not yet been made clear what we will become. We do know that when he appears, we will be like him because we will see him as he really is. Hallelujah. And being that this is true, Yeshua's words are confirmed in many places. There are many witnesses to this. So let's take a look and start with Daniel chapter 12, verse 2 through 3. They complete Jewish scriptures. Many of those sleeping in the dust of the earth will awaken, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting shame and abhorrence. But those who can discern will shine like the brightness of heaven's dome. And those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Hallelujah. Let's go to Enoch chapter 104, verse 1 through 2. What does the prophet Enoch, Hanak, have to say? Enoch chapter 104, verse 1 through 2. I swear to you that in heaven the messengers remember you for good before the esteem of the great one. And your names are written before the esteem of the great one. Be hopeful, for you were previously put to shame through illness and affliction. But now you shall shine as the lights of the heaven. You shall shine and you shall be seen. And the gates of heaven shall be open to you. Hallelujah. What is Enoch chapter 108? Verse 11 through 13 tell us. And now I will summon the spirits of the good who belong to the generation of the light. And I will transform those who were born in darkness, who in the flesh were not repaid with such honor as their faith deserved. And I will bring forth in shining light those who have loved my set apart name. And I will seat each on the throne of his honor and they will be magnificent for times without number for righteousness is the judgment of Elohim. Now, let's go to second Ezra chapter seven, verse 97. We know that in uh, in second Ezra slash fourth Ezra, there are seven orders of rest for the righteous. OK, and this is the sixth order. What does he say? Second Ezra chapter seven, verse 97. The sixth order. When it is shown to them how their face is to shine like the sun and how they are to be made like the light of the stars being incorruptible from then on. Let's go to 2nd Ezra chapter 7, verse 125. Or that the faces of those who have practiced self-control shall shine more than the stars, but our faces shall be blacker than darkness. 2nd Baruch chapter 48, verse 48 through 50. 2nd Baruch chapter 48, verse 48 through 50. Now, then, let us leave the wicked and inquire about the righteous. I will recount their blessedness and will not be silent to proclaim their esteem, which is preserved for them. For surely just in a little time in this world that passes by in which you live, 
You have endured much labor. So that world that is no end, you will receive a great light. So in that world that has no end, you shall receive a great light. Let's go to 2 Baruch chapter 50, 51, 2 Baruch chapter 51, verse 7 through 12. But to those who have been saved by their works and to those for whom the Torah now is hope and understanding is an expectation and wisdom is faith to them, marvelous things will appear in their time. For they will see that world which is now invisible to them. Olam Haba, the world to come. And they will see a time which is now hidden from them. And time will no longer make them older. For on the summits of that world, they will live. And they will be like the angels. See Matthew 22 verse 30. And they will be deemed equal to the stars. They will change themselves in any shape they wish, from comeliness into beauty, and from light into esteemed splendor. There the expanses of paradise will be spread out for them. The, the expanses of paradise will be spread out for them. And they will be shown the comeliness of the majesty of the living creatures that are beneath the throne, as well as the armies of angels who are now held by my word, lest they reveal themselves and who are held by my, who are held by the command that they stand in their places until their advent will come. And then the righteous will be more excellent than the angels. Hallelujah. Now let's go to wisdom. Let's go to wisdom chapter 3, verse 1 through 9. The wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1 through 9. He says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Elohim, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seemed to have died. Because we know that we'll be resurrected, right? And their departure was thought to be a disaster. And they're going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace. That's match 2nd Ezra, right? That matches 2nd Ezra. For though in the sight of others they were punished, the hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good because Elohim tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them. And like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and Yahweh will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his set-apart ones, and he watches over his elect. Hallelujah. So it's a perfect match where it talks about the rewards of the righteous. Okay. They will be and they will uh, rest in peace and then they will shine forth. Be guarded by the angels in profound quiet. Now let's go to community rule and the complete Dead Sea Scrolls, page 102, chapter 4. It says, and as for the visitation of all of all who in this spirit, talking about those who bear the uh, fruits of the Ruach HaKodesh, the fruits of the spirit. And as for the visitation of all who in this spirit, it shall be 
healing, great peace, and a long life and fruitfulness together with everlasting blessing and eternal joy and life without end, a crown of esteem and a garment of majesty in unending lights. Hallelujah. Let's go to the Thanksgiving hymns and the complete Dead Sea Scrolls. It's hymn number 15, page 282 in the complete Dead Sea Scrolls. For you have secured my soul, O my Elohim, and I've lifted my horn on high, and I shall shine in a sevenfold light in the council appointed by you for your esteem. For you are an everlasting heavenly light to me and will establish my feet upon level ground forever. So we know that the number seven represents completeness, fullness, and perfection. So the righteous will shine in complete, perfect light in eternity. As he says, I shall shine in a seven Old light. Wow. Remember what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 2 9. No eye is seen, no ear is heard, no ear is heard, no heart understands the things that Yahweh has prepared for those who love him. We can only get a glimpse through reading it through these words. We know that these things are going to happen. The righteous are going to shine like the sun and the stars. Perfect light. But we still can't even fathom what that's going to be like. Let's go to the Thanksgiving hymns. Another one on page 299, the complete Dead Sea Scrolls, hymn number 24. He says, you have caused the strange spirit to return, that it may enter into a covenant with you. How, how awesome is Yahweh, right? We all have transgressed and gone astray, as Paul talked about in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, right? Uh, uh, Isaiah 53 four through six and then you have first kings 846 enoch 81 5 sirach 8 5 says that we've all have transgressed and fallen short right but through his mercy look at what he's done he caused a strange spirit to return that they may enter into covenant with him that is amazing i love that verse so again you have caused the strange spirit to return that it may enter into covenant with you and stand before you forever in the everlasting abode, illumined with perfect light forever. That matches exactly what I just read in the previous uh, scripture from the Thanksgiving hymn. The everlasting abode, illumined with perfect light forever, with no more darkness, for unending seasons of joy and unnumbered ages of peace. Hallelujah, Yahweh. I hope you, hope you all are getting excited as I am and just as excited because uh, it, it is so worth it. Yahweh is awesome. He just has so many gifts ready. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 is what I would like to end with. The complete Jewish scriptures. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, shining ever brighter until full daylight. So if we look at this in the Peshat, which is the literal meaning of scripture, okay, just as a day gets brighter, as the sun continues to rise, it's how those who began to walk in the Torah and continue walking in the Torah by the leading of the Ruach HaKodesh, the set apart spirit will grow in understanding and be lights on the earth. Okay, in this world for the darkness, to help the loss. Okay. So in the literal meaning. That's what we have. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 through 16. Hebrewgospels.com And I did a message on this. And it happened furthermore. That Yeshua Mashiach said to his disciples. You are the instruction of the world. But the instruction is cut off by them who are not saved. And nothing else is fit except to cast them into the street and trample them. 
the light of the world is not able to hide the city that rests on the mountain. No man lights the lamp in order to set it under a covering, but to set it upon the manure in order to give light to all those who are in the house. So let your lamp shine before all that they may see your good deeds and praise your father who is in the heavens. OK, so being a light amongst this world, Philippians chapter two, verse four through 15, Paul says in the complete Jewish scriptures, do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may be blameless and pure children of Elohim without defect in the midst of a twisted and perverted generation among whom you shine like stars in the sky. As you hold on to the word of life, if you do this, I would be able to boast when the day of the Mashiach, the Messiah comes, that I did not run or toil for nothing. So as you see, he's saying in a, in a twisted and perverted generation, you shine like stars in the sky. And Yeshua says you are the instruction of the world. OK, let your lamp shine. OK, so in the Peshat, the literal meaning when we continue to walk in Torah, that's what we become brighter in our understanding. Gain uh, more knowledge in the truth of the Torah. Likewise, in the Ramez, which is a hint to a deeper spiritual meaning, is that those who endure to the end will shine like the sun and the stars in eternity with all of the scriptures that I just read above. Hallelujah. So let us be found to be those who who hear his words, obey his words, which will lead to us growing and growing brighter and our walk on this earth, leading to us shining like the sun and stars and a perfect light in eternity in his kingdom. Hallelujah. As always, may Yahweh Barak bless you in Yeshua's name. Shalom.